Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a budget with me and I have not filmed a budget with me in so, so long. So I'm super excited to film this video for you guys today. I will be budgeting my Etsy paycheck. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. I have my planner right here and this is where I keep all of my like financial pages. And so I'm going to flip through here and grab a cash planning sheet and I might I was gonna take it out but I might just keep it here since I have a little bit more room I raised my tripod up a little bit um, in my past videos so I'm gonna leave it like this and then I'm gonna go ahead and start with my wallet and so the only envelope in my wallet getting stuffed is going to be coffee so I'm actually let me write the total down here so I will be budgeting eight hundred and eighty five dollars so eight eighty five so coffee is just going to be getting ten okay so I have eight seventy five and that is going to be it for my wallet. I will not be stuffing my bills binder, so I'm going to go ahead and move into this taupe binder right here, which is our like low priority sinking funds. So in here, I'm going to skip all these and stuff sweet treats. And that'll be getting 20 and then kitties will also be getting stuffed and this will be getting five dollars and I did have someone ask me that's gonna be it for this binder what pens I use in my cash stuffing videos sometimes I update my trackers or I write something down. So the pen I'm using today is this uni pen and it's in um, 0.5. I got this in Japan, but I'm sure you can get this if you just search this up. So that is the pen I'm using and this is gray, dark gray ink. All right, we are going to move into sinking funds. So the, I quit filming uh, budget with me is because it just took up way too much time. I can only film on the weekends because I am back to work full time. So I work like pretty much a nine to five. And so I don't have time afterwards to film. Uh, so the only free time I have is the weekends. And so today is actually July 4th. I have the day off. So I'm super happy about that. So I decided I could film um, a budget with me for my next cash stuffing. So the first envelope from here is car maintenance. And if you haven't watched my previous cash stuffings, I actually had no money in here. And so I moved $935 from my month ahead envelope, which is all that I had in there and put it into car maintenance because this is more of a priority for me than month ahead right now. So we are going to put twenty dollars in here the goal right now is a thousand i eventually want five thousand in here um, but we have 935 which is super close so that's car maintenance next is travel and travel is going to get twenty dollars next is japan and Japan will be getting 50. Next is a new envelope and I labeled it after vacation because I literally did not know what to call it. I just printed on cardstock to put like, so I knew what the name of the envelope was, but my printer was acting weird and like smeared the ink. So it looks terrible. So I'm going to need an envelope for this eventually. I think I already, I think I already ordered one actually. Or not ordered one but um, I'm getting one sent to me so that's good but this will work for now so this is going to be for our paychecks after vacation so we won't have a paycheck when we get back because we'll 
have been gone for two weeks so like just in case like this happened to me last time I went um I just want to save money for that so this will be getting sixty dollars and then that is it for this binder and I always forget to subtract my amounts so I'm gonna redo this really quick okay seven hundred dollars left so next I'm going to go into my personal binder and for my personal binder I'm going to stuff my Starbucks envelope so Again, if you haven't been watching my cash stuffings, this is just a buffer for when I go back to school. I'm only going to be working once a week and my side income money will have to go towards bills and things I need. So I'm trying to save up now for this because this is how I like to treat myself. I don't go out and do anything expensive to treat myself. So this is getting 20 Next is going to be dental. And dental is getting 10. Okay, next I'm going to stuff budgeting. So this is my envelope to buy like cash stuffing items with, like things for my binders, more envelopes and stuff. So this will be getting 15. My envelope for Logan is getting 25. I have a month until his birthday. His birthday is on August 8th. So I'm trying to save up as much as I can for what I want to buy. Beauty is getting five. Shoes will also get five. Next is haircuts. And that'll be getting $10. I have... $20 in there right now. My haircut's usually like $50 because I like to go to Ulta for my haircuts. They give you like the free shampoo and condition with your haircut. So I really like that. And they always do a good job. So I don't have to worry about them messing my hair up. So electronics is next and that'll be getting 10. And that's going to be it for this binder. Next, we're gonna go into my second personal binder. I had to split them up because I have too many envelopes and it wouldn't all fit into one. So this is for like my saving challenge um, and like sinking funds. So, but only my sinking funds because this is our sinking funds that Logan and I share, but he doesn't need an envelope for school. So I'm not gonna put it in our the binder we share together. So, graduation photos is going to get five. And then I'm going to go to the business section of my binder. And since this is my Etsy paycheck, I will be stuffing some of this. So, the first one is inventory. And this will be getting $30. I have 70 right now, so I'll have 100. Next is office supplies. And this is for printer ink. So this will be getting 20. Next is equipment. And that'll be getting 100. Next is Canva. And Canva will be getting five. I have the yearly subscription to Canva Pro, which is $119.99. So my goal is 120 by September and I have $90 right now. So definitely on track with that. And then next is taxes which is getting 266. Okay, oh, I forgot one. So I have a miscellaneous envelope in the back right here. 
because I currently don't have an envelope for this. I'm just paying myself back for some business expenses. So this will be getting $91. And now that is it for this binder. Lastly, we are going to go into my saving challenges. So the first one is not in here because it's my 52 envelope challenge. So that will be getting, I think I need to take this out so you guys can see what I'm writing because I'm reaching the bottom of my page. Okay, so 52 envelope is going to get 52. So we have stuffed all the envelopes one through 10. So now I'm gonna try to get the bigger ones out as soon as I can because I do go back to school next month and we'll be making less and also have to use my side income money for bills and things like that. So moving on to $500 saving challenge. This one is going to get 15. Next is roll the dice, which I had already rolled in my previous cash stuffing and I rolled $13. So roll the dice will be getting 13. And now I have $3 left, which will be going into my mini savings challenge. So this mini savings is to save up for a new flat iron for my hair. Uh, mine like doesn't have a heat setting. It just heats up and I don't know what it heats up to. Um, so I definitely want to get a newer one that I could lower the heat on because my hairstylist at Ulta recommended that when I went to her last. So that'll be getting $3 and that zeroes out my, um, my budget. So now I will be going to do the denominations to figure out what bills I need to pull out from the bank. I'm actually going to just put this in here. Coffee is getting a 10. Sweet treats is actually going to stay in my checking account because I paid for that on my debit card. So I'm not gonna pull that out in cash. It's just gonna stay in my account. So Kitty's is getting five. Car maintenance is getting a 20. Travel 20. Um, Japan 50. After vacation is getting a 50 and a 10. Let's do a 20 for Starbucks, 10 for dental. Budgeting is getting a 10 and a 5. Logan is getting a 20 and a 5. 5 for beauty and shoes, 10, 10, 5. Um, inventory is getting a, a 20 and a 10 to make 30. 20 for office supplies. Equipment, I'm just going to do a $100 bill, 5. Taxes, I'm going to keep the 200 in my savings. There's no reason for me to pull that out because I do get a lot of bills when I do this. And so, like, because I have to pull a decent amount out for taxes, um, I'm just going to leave that those hundreds in the bank and just do the 66 in cash. So 50, 60, 65, 66, 50, two 20s and a one. 52 envelope is getting a 50 and two ones, a 10 and a five, a 10 and three ones and three ones. So I'm gonna add these up. So for 100s, I need one. So that's $100. For 50s, I need five, so that's 250. For 20s, I need two, four, five, six, seven, eight, so that's 160. For 10s, I need two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so that's 100. For fives, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so that's 45. And for ones, I need three, six, eight, nine, 10. So that's $10. So now I'm going to add that up. So I have 100 plus 250 plus 160 plus 100 plus 45 plus 10. So that's a total of $665, which is different from the amount I have here because I kept sweet treats in my account. So let's add 20. 
Then I kept a hundred or two hundred dollars for taxes. So when I add those up, it's eight eighty-five. So that means we did everything correctly. So that is all for this budget with me video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will talk to you guys in my next video.